So, um, in order not to speak for a very long time, I made a note so that I will keep it very short and simple. So, as I said last week, um, during this Tuesday evening masses, I'll be teaching about mass manners. Mass manners. So, um, the manners that we should put up when we come for mass. So, I prepared five lessons. So, today is lesson one preparation. And I, I intend not to speak more than five minutes. So, preparation. So, preparing for mass begins from your home. And there are two kinds of preparations. Physical, physical preparation and spiritual preparation. Physical preparation and spiritual preparation for mass. So let me go through um, what you have to think about for your physical preparation. What you wear, so what you put on, you have to be very careful on what you put on when you are preparing to come for mass. So I, I have this. Just bear in mind that I am dressing to meet my Lord and to participate in the mystery of my salvation. So that's what you have to bear in mind. I am dressing up to meet my Lord and to participate in the mystery of my salvation. So whatever you are going to wear, just bear that in mind. So, I continue about physical preparation. When you come into the church, if you are having a gum, if you are chewing gum, discard it before you step into the church. You don't come into the church and chew gum. It is the house of God. Eating is not allowed in the church. If you have a child, if you have a baby that you have to feed, you have to do that with respect. And where it is not going to cause distraction to you or to people around you. Cell phones, turn off. Or put it in silence, not even in vibration. So it's either you turn it off or you put it in silence and prepare to arrive on time, 10, 15 minutes before mass. That should be your target. So if you have children, you have to prepare them as well. So the same for you, the same for your kids, that you have to bear in mind that whatever I'm putting on, whatever I want to wear, I have to prepare my kids also that they are there going to meet the Lord to participate in the mystery of their salvation. So before you come into the church, it is recommended that you use the bedroom. So you have to go to the bathroom and then use the bathroom so that you don't or you minimize movements, random movements during time for mass. Spiritual preparation. Um, this, this, I know that sometimes we forget this, so I'm also reminding myself about this and reminding all of us about this. But if we remember, that is fine. That is what the church calls Eucharistic fast. So Eucharistic fast means that you have to fast at least one hour before communion. So, if, for instance, you are coming for a daily mass that is about 35, 40 minutes, if you eat, like, it is 8.45, so if you eat 8 o'clock, it is not up to one hour, then you receive communion. So you are not observing the Eucharistic fast. 
So it's expected that you have to eat in the time and manner so that you have to observe one hour interval before you go for communion. So that's up to you. That's part of the spiritual preparation you have to make. And then you have to read the readings for the Mass. Well, I would say especially for the Sunday Masses, for the weekend Masses, you have to read the readings, first reading the Psalm, second reading, and then the Gospel before coming for Mass. So you have a lot of things to do as preparation before you come for Mass. And then when you come in, you have to pray. Just ask, ask the good Lord to help you to concentrate, to be attentive as we participate in the mystery of our salvation. So ask God to help you to be attentive and to concentrate. And finally, remember, when you are coming, because it is a sacrifice, you need to bring your offering. So it is part of your spiritual preparation that you have to bring something to offer as someone who is participating in this mystery of our salvation, which is both a sacrifice and also a sacrament. The Mass is both sacrifice and also a sacrament. So um, you have to bring something to offer. So that's about our preparations before we come for Mass. Two kinds of preparations, physical and spiritual. The physical one has to do with what you wear, how you prepare yourself, and then the spiritual one, ones have to do with the things you do to prepare yourself spiritually for Mass. So that's the intro, and that's our first lesson. So next Tuesday, we will continue from when you step in, what happens. So I have five series of lessons on Mass Manners. May God continue to help us to be Catholics and to be Catholics. Not Catholics by name, but Catholics by action. God bless you.